Welcome back to the North Coast Lynx on 107.5 FM with Fox. In studio right now, Brad, Mike, Watson, and Joe of Conviction Fit. And gentlemen, uh, you, you talked about uh, the fact that you had EP that is completed. How long did that whole uh, process take, and how many times did you want to kill one of those? Uh, too many times. <laughs> it took way too long. Uh, well, actually, it didn't actually take all that long in uh, all reality. Uh, once I came back, because I actually thought that they wanted me to play bass, just for whatever reason, because the, the bass player, the bass player that they had at the time was just atrocious. And like you might as well just been taking drumsticks and hitting the strings with them. Uh, but uh, so I thought they wanted me to play bass, and they're like, "Surprise! No, we want you to sing." Um, so then we started like, you know, fooling around with the music and stuff like that. And I don't know, things just started, you know, falling right together, right together, right together, right together, right together. And before we do it in what a year. Almost a year, we had almost oh like 15, yeah, 13 songs. Oh wow! But we were like, uh, do we really want to put everything out right now? Okay, well we can put on EP and then shop it to the label, or you know, let's just see what it sounds like, let's see what the fans think of it and stuff. And everybody that has heard it has had an awesome response. They're like, you guys just have a very unique sound. You know, everything's put together real well. It's not just First chorus, first chorus, bridge chorus, first out, end of song, you know, which is something that we don't normally do because it's boring. Well, you know, <laughs> don't want to be boring. Now, how many, uh, how many songs do you guys have on the EP? You said 15 songs is what you initially had, which means you had to move it somehow. Right. What was that process like? Oh, I think we uh, argued for a good three <laughs> days about what songs we were going to actually track for the EP. We were all pretty pretty good with uh, Redemption. We're like, yes, that's going to be on there. And they're like, Blame Season, got to be on there. But what are the other two? And man, there must have been 12, 13 different combinations. Oh, it's going to be these two. No, we don't want to record that. You know, well, why not? Well, we already we already did that at a different studio. Let's do that's an old song. Let's do a new song. You know, it was it was brutal. Well, and I I can't imagine. I talked to all the bands about this because you always ultimately when you're putting together an album, when you're putting together an EP, whatever you're putting together it comes down to having to cut out some songs. And obviously, every song has some kind of meaning to somebody right. in the band, which leads to having an attachment to that song, which has to make that process a lot more difficult. Yeah, when we went into to the thought of we were going to record an EP, you know, we were, we were thinking, okay, we know Redemption was going to be kind of like the one that's going to be more radio-ish, you know. We still stuck to our roots, but we added a lot of harmony vocals and things like that. Um, when it came to the song Eyes of Pompeii, that was one of our newer ones that we wrote, and we thought it was real powerful, and it would get across the message that we're back, and we're here, and you better pay attention. We're still heavy. <laughs> um, flame season, we were like, you know what, we would play that song at our practice spot, and I mean, we, would, we used to jam for two or three hours a night straight in a small room, and it would get hot. And we would play that song, you could feel the tension in the room, Rise, and we're like, we're putting that song on there. It has to go on there. And then uh, we decided with the last song for Silent Witness, mostly because the chorus in that song is very powerful. So and it just it just felt really good to put that on there. Now, now with that, do you, do you maybe go to friends and family members and say, hey, take a listen. Do you think this one fits? Or, or is it just, you know, we're keeping this in the band. We're keeping it quiet until we release the EP. I think we, we kind of said, you know what? No offense to the fans and family, screw you guys. For us, this is for us. Yeah. That's exactly what we did, actually. We had a <laughs> lot of people going, you should do this song, you should do this song. And it's like, I appreciate your input, but this is our band. No, not to be a dick or anything, but this, we're going to do it the way that we always wanted to do it, the right way. I mean, I'll be honest. I took I took the CD or whatever recording, I was like, where's the sexiest bitch? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you need to hear this. <laughs> In fact, why don't you take off your shoes? Here's a glass of wine. I'll put this on for you. <laughs> that's, that's my voice on there. <laughs> Speaking of which, they dropped that bomb on you that you were doing vocals. What was that like? Well, I had already done vocals before, but like, it was mostly just screaming and stuff. And Mike's like, well, here's a fantastic idea. You're actually going to sing this time. <laughs> and uh, I mean, you did sing a little bit on the, the later stuff before we took that break. 
yeah. like three songs. Yeah, said. but I mean, I knew I could just pass it off on him. Which he did. <laughs> yeah, like, like, he just stopped and like pointed at me and be like, oh, crap. Yeah. Oh. I was like, in fact, if you sing, I'll drink this beer. Yeah. <laughs> but now, now, it's a, now it's a lot. Yeah. I mean, now it's a lot cooler because, uh, I mean, we'll do vocal practice on Mondays where we just sit down and like, you know, just go over the song over and over and over and over and over. And Not over even a song. Again. Beating up 15 seconds of one part of one song yeah. until it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, that's, you know, I mean, Silent Witness, we spent, oh my God, like weeks, weeks, weeks yeah. just getting it because it's not, it's not a very complex piece, but the breathing process in it, because there's so much in such a small area that, you know, you really had to like build up your lung capacity and stuff like that. And then even Redemption, I mean, he's like, he's like, oh yeah, I'll make this song impossible for you to sing, man. It's gonna be awesome. I'm like, oh man, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> appreciate it. Give me more work and practice. I appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, we'll be uh, we're gonna step aside. We'll be right back with Redemption Fate coming up next. Redemption from one seven point five here on the Fox. Nice. We can segue that one with just talking about that song. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, you guys both times have just brought up songs. I'm like, oh, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> what other song do you have? We did Redemption. Uh, Eyes of Pompeii. Nice. All right. I cool. do have Flame Season if you want. I have you it on hard copy. I have Flame Season. Yeah, you just have it. I'm sorry, uh, Silent Witness. Yeah, you yeah. can send that one. I have it. If you have, uh, you got a dinosaur, but I mean, <laughs> I got uh, a... Yeah. Shoot it to me on Facebook. Yeah. Just, if you have it in MP3, shoot it to me that way, and uh, I'll get it in the system this week. Because yeah, it doesn't take long. You just have to play the music. Really so, no, I, I love that camera. That was like the best buy. It was like, it was like a three hundred dollar camera, but you could control it with your phone. How cool is that? Yeah, you got it for one hundred fifty bucks. Yeah, I got it for one hundred fifty bucks. I really want a GoPro, but I have no use for it whatsoever. But this this is, really is much cool. better. That's way quality. better. Is it? The yeah. colors are so much. Like they took uh, like a family. Um, at a pool, and they used both cameras and like compared them side by side. And the GoPro was like real grainy and gray and kind of washed out. This was like vivid and blue, and you could see like air bubbles in the water. And it's got true, true 120 feet per second slow mo, like in HD. Aren't you being 120 frames? 120 frames per second. Yeah, like fast as a bullet. Yeah. <laughs> Missing an opportunity for ad revenue. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I wanted to. Do I mean, if it's still recording, it is. Right. And it's like, it's for the company. Right, right. Got a free plug. Right, right. right, right. Yeah, yeah, it's it's sweet. Oh my God. I mean, it's half like the price of a GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> That's where most of my songs come from. Jack Daniels and, and uh, most of my big decisions come from one Yeah. yeah. Jack, yeah. Da Jack Daniels, Jameson, and, and heavy craft beers. <laughs> for whatever reason, <laughs> the end of the night was always when we decided to shout one. Well, yeah, because you get horse decisions. You drink enough to get ballsy. You're like, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> 151, yes. And that girl is in Scandinavian Fiat. <laughs> Give me a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that kerosene. It's 151. Same thing. I used to start every night off with a uh, four logo. Oh. And I stopped drinking them because <clears throat> I'm not an aggressive person, but I found that I'm nice that I had them. I'm looking to fight everybody. Oh, yeah. Because you're like, girl, yeah. you're yeah. all I am drunk. You're drunk and you're jacked, and it's malt liquor, yeah, so it's a dirty drunk. You what, you I'm afraid that he's going to get drunk because he boxes. I'm afraid one day he's going to get drunk and just beat the shit out of him. He's like, guys, oh, come off. You're going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what, the worst, the worst drunk I ever was, I was at, uh, visiting a friend of Notre Dame, and I bought, I'd never had a spark before. Oh, man. I bought four of them. Sparks. I drank oh. all four. It was like three in the morning, I was sitting there. I want to fall asleep, but I can't. My heart's racing. It's yeah. like 4.3 percent alcohol, and it's got yeah. like you know 500 milligrams yeah. of caffeine. That's how it is when I'm on acid. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm just like I just want to go to bed. <laughs> oh yeah, that, whoa, sparks, that's not gonna happen until that weird buzzing sound goes away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't just drink a whip. It sparks to make you. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's radioactive! This is supposed to glow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they put all the B vitamins in it for, yeah. the, for the energy. I don't need none of that. <laughs> 
four of those after my grandmother's funeral. I was like running around her house <laughs> naked. Like, I don't oh, know what to do with all this energy. Why were you naked in your house? <laughs> <laughs> outside she's of her house. She's running around it. Well, no, I'm kidding. my grandma. She was dead. Yeah. She wasn't seeing me. I hate when you're like, when you're like really tired you and drinking, something. you know? And then, like, it would have been way creepier. Like, we you didn't live office, there, and you were just there. Like, you can't have the like, like, I'm going to miss you, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all that Michael Jackson and shit, trying to do the lean in your kitchen. I, uh, I was walking down High Street in Columbus one day, and uh, my friends, my one friend, he lived on the opposite end of the campus. And I'm walking in to South Campus, and he's walking north on High Street. And he's over there, he's walking like this. Stop. Like, I'm going to trip I go, Rylan! He stops. He's like, Dude! Doesn't even look, just sprints across High Street. Oh ah, my god! Like, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, Dude, I'm on, uh, I, I, what was it? Uh, I think he, Opium? I think, yeah, he's like, I'm off Opium, man. Everything's so pretty right now. <laughs> he's like, Where are you going? I'm like, The opposite way of you? He's like, I'll come with you. He's <laughs> going all the way down there. I <laughs> went all the way down there. He's like, What's today? Wednesday's like, oh shit, I have a math test today. Oh. I was like, well, I'm going back that way. You want to walk? Yeah, let's go. We get over there. He looks at me and goes, yeah, I'm not going to take my test. Yeah. I'm like, why? He goes, I don't have anything to study before the test, and I didn't study last night, so I didn't. Why are right. you bothering? Yeah, why are you doing the rest of the day? I'm like, going back to the first game. He's like, I'll come with you. <laughs> like, All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. It's like, that like when you find somebody who's totally trashed and they want to hang out with you and you're sober. Oh my god! <laughs> the worst. My buddy Brad does that to me. He'll call me at like fucking eleven thirty. Dude, where are you at? You should come pick me up. I'm wasted at the bar. I'm like, I'm ready to go to bed. And yeah. no, I don't yeah, want to deal with your I'm an adult right now. Roadkill road has got he used to live by me. Knocked on my door. It's like two o'clock in the morning. I open up the door. He's got a fucking shotgun oh. <laughs> pointed right at me, and he shoots me. But it was one of those air rifles. Oh, I didn't my know. God. That. <laughs> fucking pisses his pants a little dude, bit. Dude, he shot me, and I was like, "Did one of these?" I was like, oh my god, it's still alive! <laughs> He's like, "Hey, do you want to drink some beer?" Throws it over. <laughs> Drinking beer, eating Viking in, and we're watching Salo. Oh, Jesus. And, he oh, <laughs> and then he gets up, and, like, after we finish, it was like a three hour movie. He eats about 20 Viking in, drinks a whole 12 a thing of beer. He gets up, he's just like, Alright, I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> just totally straight dish, and I was like, Jesus. <laughs> Time to go. Shotgun over the shoulder. Yeah, shotgun over the shoulder and a kill later. <laughs> songs you had never done before for the EP, which leads me to my next question, anything else in the works that might uh, utilize some of those songs that uh, were left off the EP? Uh, we actually were thinking about, uh, we have a bunch of new stuff, but we actually are going to throw some special covers, like for live shows, okay. and that way we can have some songs from the CD that we only play on the CD. And uh, so we just came up with uh, Hotel California, and I wear my sunglasses at night. For some live stuff, and then we'll have search and fun. I wear my sunglasses. Well, yeah. I'm supposed to play the man in the shades, you know? <laughs> no, but uh, we wanted to have a couple songs that we uh, don't put on the CD, or, or I'm sorry, some of the songs that we have on the CD that we only will have on the CD, like a special thing. And, and kind of vice versa, where, yeah. you know, like the live stuff, obviously, we're not going to, or the, uh, the cover stuff, we're not going to record any of that, obviously, but that would be stuff that we would just do live. Yeah. Or like an encore or something like that. 
just to keep it fun. Yeah. Now, if, if you guys uh, are, are looking to, to maybe putting together a CD, have you put a time frame on it, a stamp, anything like that, or is it just kind of a collaboration at this point? Well, we are working on the uh, title track for the uh, CD now, Curse of Your Kind. Um, okay. So that song, it, it's an awesome song. It's just like the pieces need to be done for that song before we can actually go in and finish the rest of the stuff. And uh, like you said, um, I want to go back to our buddies Matt and Jerome at Closed Studios, but we need to you know, worry about the financial situation of the band first. I mean, it is a business, and we do need to you know, look at what's the most profitable um, outlook for the band. So I'm hoping that we go back there because they are awesome, and they do really, really, really good work. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and they're awesome, and they are really, really fun to work with. Just send us signal. Yeah, no, I will. I'm going to send this guy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, plus I help you, you know? <laughs> that's how it works. Yeah, and obviously that's where we recorded the EP. Yeah, that's on uh, Willoughby. Yeah, it, they are, the studio is immaculate. And the people working there are the class that I have ever worked with. So They really know what they're doing. And I mean, I worked with uh, Ben Shiggle from Slider Studios. And he was just, you know, you go in there and you just grind out your stuff, whereas you go in with Matt or Jerome, you kind of have like a more organic feel to it. It's like, oh, you know what? You sound like garbage. Go drink some water, drink a beer, leave, because you suck. <laughs> <laughs> and then you come back, and then you yeah, do it. One, you toss a guitar to the window. Right, no, no. It's, <laughs> like, it's funny, like, we'd be yeah. recording, be like, hey, you remember uh, when you used to sing good? And we, yeah, it's like, why don't we try doing that today? <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, the famous line was, yeah, yeah, do it just like that again, you know, but good. <laughs> Yeah. But just remember, you have so many it's friends right now. Constant reinforcement always, always works. Right. And you know, it's it's nice to learn if you can have fun while you're doing it because obviously it's kind of a stressful process, correct? I, I don't know. I mean, for the most part, I get to lay around and drink beer until these guys are done. So they're like, "You coming to the studio today?" Yeah. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. I want to grab some beer. What he's not telling you about is the uh, what five days of intense vocals. Yeah, well, I mean, do it again. That was terrible. You know what? You know what? Just, just, just get out of here. Just get out. Just I hate you. Here. You're ugly. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna stay here until I get this right. No, it's 1:30. We're going home. Your voice is shot. <laughs> we'll pick this up in two days. <laughs> it tastes blood. If people uh, have the EP, do you have it for sale? Can people download it somewhere? How's uh, how can they find the music? Right now. Um, we don't have it available for download yet. Um, we're actually probably going to put it on SoundCloud and have it available there and potentially Reverb Nation. We can stream it, you can listen to it, uh, as well as an older EP from a few years ago with a couple of the songs that we actually still do, but we kind of revamped them. Um, yeah, that's on Reverb Nation. We definitely are going to be pressing CDs, you know, uh, EPs. And I'm working on the uh, I'm working on the Amazon store, but it's a little difficult. I thought it was going to be way easier. It's not. That's a lot of uh, signing your soul away. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, the music is also we got we got some stuff on YouTube. Um, any of the any of the four songs of the EP are on YouTube, along with uh, some other live videos. We type in Connection Fit to find it. Um, we're on Reverb Nation. Type in Connection Fit to find it on there. Uh, the Facebook can get you a direct link to anything that we have music-wise. Check it out. Um, we're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. Everything will lead you to a song. Yeah, that's what we're doing. And if we got any upcoming shows, anything like that, people can find that stuff all Absolutely. Oh, well, yeah, you can find it on both. And actually, the Facebook and the Reverb Nation are synced. So basically, all the same info and songs are on the same four pages. Yeah, and like if you go to the YouTube stuff, you'll be able to see stuff like that. Me and Mike did like vocal practice, right. and you know how like um, Eyes of Pompeii was written and stuff like that. We really kind of just would sit down. Like I said, we go through vocal practice, vocal practice, vocal practice, and then you see us sit there. You know, there's even sections on us. Um, you know, we go to the bar and I would just videotape us talking about like concepts to, to go over the song. That way, I can watch back later. I mean, like Eyes of Pompeii, it took about three months to write and you know uh, lyrically yeah the song was done you know yeah, I just, like two days <laughs> yeah <laughs> the song was done musically but i really wanted uh to like have like a really cool concept so like i tried to take um like mount vesuvius like if you were the mountain if you were the people being you know burned by the lava 
and then like, you know, um, make it vague enough to where you can uh, relate it to relationships and religion and politics. I like to write in parallels. Okay, love it. Yeah, yeah, well, it's really vague. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know it's like, you know, like, uh, kind of like Nostradamus. Yeah, like Nostradamus, you know, it's like, oh, birds in the sky or something, you know? But, you know, that way we could, uh, that we leave it open for people. But, like, if you go to our YouTube, you can see stuff like that. I trip to Fiji and stuff like that. Also, real quick, uh, always, 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 I try to plug this at the end of every interview, every show. Get out there and like the local bands. That's a big way that bands around the area, bands around the country get gigs, get yeah. shows. Uh, follow us on Reverb Nation, do all that stuff, guys. Uh, it's been great having you in the studio. Wonderful. I appreciate you coming by. Absolutely. Hopefully you enjoyed your time. Don't go anywhere, though. You guys are pop. Hey, we're coming up next. Yeah. On Everything right. you know, we did. Nice. You want to leave that last bit out there? You know, we're going to that out. Hey. Gentlemen, that's it. Awesome. Excellent. Awesome. We only went three because every one of your segments was well over five minutes. Cool. Oh, really? sure we have room for music. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, but with that said, it should be all of your music. On How the long show. are your segments usually, like, for, like, say, an interview with the music and everything? Um, as far as. Far as the segments are concerned with just the interview so aspect. 30 minutes or something total? Or? The whole show, as long as they don't throw commercials into it at the end and surprise me, uh, it's about 40 minutes. Um, I can get anywhere from, if if I'm just doing music and no interviews, I can usually get about 12 or 15 okay. songs into the show. And you don't have to have, you don't get interrupted with commercials and bullshit? No. Um, it's probably not in yet for Saturday. But, uh, I don't think should be You should definitely start taking those little video clips from practice and stuff once a week, just like showing, you know, we're working on this is a new piece we're working on or whatever, just to keep updating stuff on the Facebook page. As of right now, I love that shit. Yeah, as of right now, there are not, um, sliding in every so, you know, we have to get to <laughs> yeah, there's two five minutes and two six minutes songs, so... But they're probably all ours. <laughs> uh, no, no, I don't have any music in the Saturday. Oh, let's see, uh, the basic, what? Uh, what Tom Hay and Blaine Wayne Caesar are both, like, over six minutes. But with that, with that in mind, uh, it'll probably be just mostly a question. It'll be maybe a couple of other years. And if you want, send me over, uh, what is it, Witness? Oh, Witness, yeah. This song is like three years in the middle. Really? Just because it was like... Well, it started off way... Like, the only part that was the same was the beat intro. And it was even... It wasn't even the way it is. It was all like... Right? Or like... <laughs> it was just messy. It gross. And just... It didn't have that... You know, the well, doodle part. But yeah. everything else... Was oh, you know what? Day this, you said Saturday. Part. <laughs> Saturday, 8 to 9 p.m. Awesome. I just want to make sure that I can get it to Saturday, 8 to 9 we do not stream on the internet. It frustrates the hell of me and my program director, but it's something that we do. So you gotta but, have some serious bandwidth to be able to post yeah. shit like that. Yeah. And it has to be like high bit rate too, or it'll be so slow. We can't got, handle anybody. I mean, it's something to do with just the Fox because that they have seven stations and all of them stream except for the Fox. Okay. And it's kind of frustrating. It's something I think we're it still works. Yeah, you definitely gotta upgrade your server system. I don't know when, which is pretty costly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I will get you guys the audio from the interviews awesome. deal with whatever you please. Shit. You know, you know, for sure, you know, right. Facebook, anything like that, it's all yours. I'll just send it to you on my Facebook. Yeah, people were, they thought it was live. They're like, like what is it? I want to dial in and watch you live and send you stupid questions and shit for you. Like, no, no, no. Uh, it's it's I'm like, yeah, yeah, going to be on the radio tonight. What amazes me is Yeah. Listen to you guys every Word of mouth is fans, amazing. Fans that come in are like, man, everybody says, you know, they, they listen to every Saturday. I'm like, cool. Yeah. And it's it's cool because we've really built up a lot of really solid bands, too. Yeah. Uh, that was when I first took over, most of the music, uh, the show kind of went away for like a couple of years. And when I started here, Kate came to me and he's like, I'd like you to start a local band show. Here. I'm like, cool. Yeah. 
cool, whatever. I don't know any bands in the area. But we really don't have a lot of competition right now no. because like yeah. MMS doesn't do it anymore. They used to. And 92.3 is now, you know, the, the sports station. So yeah. They used to have well, the Inner Sanctum there. Back. MMS does it on Sunday nights. Do they play? Is Inner Sanctum still on? Yeah. But either way, it's, it's been great. I mean, actually, we don't get into Cleveland or into uh, Erie and because originally this was a clear channel. Uh, well, Fox was, everything was clear channel. MMS for clear channel. Right. Like, or on the on the grill thing there, and I'm like making it, making it, it's burning. I'm like, it's got to 
dog, man. <laughs> he's got to be dog. Throw it, he's like, I want chicken too. I'm like, oh, I got you, bro. <laughs> so, so he throw this frozen chicken on the fucking thing. Well, in my head, I'm like, that's to totally all the way through. Totally raw, just burn off the <laughs> I'm eating it. I'm like, this chicken's so juicy. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> and he's like, and he's like, this good. I was like, what are you talking about? Is this recently? No, we still. No, this is a couple years. No, the other night you had this shit. The other night I did get get fucking undercooked chicken and happy meals. Yeah. He was like, I'm getting Friday night. He's like, this weird like wave thing going on. Like, yeah. Like, about to pass out. Well, we were all fucked up. That place awesome burgers. Well, like, we, yeah. were, we stole a like, gallon like, of like, like, 13 beer from Ham Hardy that we were at. Like, we were like, hey, go distract those guys. Like, we had one of our girlfriends with us, and like, go distract them. We're like, filling the fucking. <laughs> we went through the house, dumped their milk out, washed it out, filled it up with beer, and we left. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Super bad. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, what the hell are you doing like, with the laundry soap? <laughs> it's beer, dude. Green beer. Anybody want green beer? <laughs> Oh, I know, fuck me, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Good times, man. <laughs>